Hey everybody, I gotta look at the road. I can't be looking at you, but welcome back to Dead Car Rescue. We're on our way to Bradford, Arkansas. Ken's Vintage Auto Salvage. I've never been there. I can't wait to get there because I hope I can find some goodies, stuff for my cars, maybe some stuff that you see that you want. I will give his phone number. I will give his address. And it's in Bradford, Arkansas, like I say. And that is south of Little Rock, Arkansas. North of Little Rock, Arkansas, up Highway 67, out of coming out of Little Rock. So uh, anybody can get there. All you got to do is jump in your car or truck and go over there. But you need to call Ken before you show up because uh, he's a busy man doing other things beside the salvage yard. But we're going to go look. Let's see what we can find. Let's go. Okay, welcome everybody to Vintage Auto Salvage. That's in Possum Grape, Arkansas. The phone number is 501-201-0119 for those people y'all that can't see. <laughs> now, this stuff here, the square body stuff, he builds that, so none of that's for sale. None of that right there in that area is for sale. But, uh, Everything else is for sale. And before I start this video, Ken told me that he's gonna make it simple for buyers that's interested in any of this stuff. Any car out here, $700. I'm not kidding you, $700 for anything out here, the whole car. $700 is a deal, folks. Uh, one piece of chrome will cost you $100 in some places. Now, we have goats out here, and I, I hope they're nice goats. I was around a goat one time that almost knocked me down one time, so <clears throat> I might jump a little bit, but I'll be okay. There's a $700 car right there. Now, what could you use off that car for $700? You could use a lot of stuff off of it. A piece of chrome right there. It probably cost you 50 bucks. Oh, there, some of you guys might say there was nothing on it, any good. Well, look at that back quarter. You could cut that quarter off and put it on your station wagon. I don't know what they cost, but there's a lot of parts on it. Look at that, the quarter's fine on that. And I don't know what this is, what it came out of. It's a frame. I'll just put it that way, it's a car frame. Um, oh, 55, 56, 57 Chevrolet uh, from the supports, the motor supports. That's the V8 motor supports that's that's a decent looking frame huh 62 uh 62 oldsmobile 98 that's a 700 dollar car every car is 700 dollars. i'm just gonna not say that no more but I'm, I'm shocked if you need this little pontiac le mans 700 dollars <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I said I wouldn't say that no more. Now, I think this car has independent rear suspension. Let's see if we can see under there. I can't really tell. Can you see that? Is that independent rear suspension or not? I don't know. What are we doing out here? Crawling around the ground. There's a Ford pickup. 58, 59-ish. The bed looks good, look. On this side. Apologize for that doggone wind. Why does it have to be windy every time I do, do this? 
Ah, got a crack in the windshield. I was hoping to have a good windshield for somebody. Okay, what is it, guys? 58? 59? 60? See this panel down here? When's the last time you seen one that looks that good? And even the grill. The bed right there's, I bet you could sell that bed for $1,000 or more. Ah, everything can, you can sell to the right buyer. I, I'm, I'm dumb when it comes to old cars like this. Now the 50s and 60s, I can tell you, but this Oldsmobile right here, I don't even know what year it is. Let me look at this trim panel here. All right. Now Steve Magnotti would say all about this car, what it is, what year. 41-3519. Is this a 41? I don't know. I have no idea. Man, didn't they come out with those fenders? Look at that. And the sun visor. Got a good glass lid. Somebody try. <laughs> that looks like the vents out of a floor or, or some kind of a heater that hung on the wall or something like that. Look here. Well, he's using her head, trying to figure out something, make it look cool. Can't blame them for trying. They kind of got. Must have had a Bondo factory or something. Now that, look at that, see? Two gear shifts for a three-speed transmission. You know what? We've done that. Uh, we have took the gear shift levers and put them through the floor just like that. One shift, one, one gear shift lever, one gear shift lever was reverse and first. Then you put it back in neutral. You go to first, put it in neutral, grab the other shifter, and put it in second and then third. That's using your head. That's Arkansas. I think Arkansas come up with it. And as rag raggedy as this old truck is, look here. The door still shuts up. Huh. Long, long, long wheelbase. All right. Don't know what to say about this other than that's a Studebaker. And this was supposed to be some kind of somebody's creation. It had to do with an airplane. I mean, look look at this thing. If, he was, if this was an airplane, you didn't see the rest of the car. I could say, okay, there's where the pilot sit, and that's where the co-pilot sits. But I guess the guy that designed this, what was his name? I don't know. But anyway, I guess he knew a little bit about airplanes and said, We'll sell a trillion cars if we make this thing look like an airplane. Look at the room you got back there. Look at that big old steering wheel and big steering column and a speedometer. They didn't make springs like that. I mean, they don't make springs like that anymore. You notice there's no, that's a one piece windshield also. 
It says 1952 student boat. 1952. Most of these older cars had two piece windshield, had a, a metal bar going up right down the center. Windshield over here and windshield over there. That's got a face only a mother would love. That says 69 on it. Let me look, make sure. Yep, 1969. Nope, 1962. Okay, that's a 62 tag license plate. And before they put the lens on, that was the brake lights back in the day. This little, this little piece of metal here, instead of like falling into a hole right here and here, they just had this piece of metal come out and a bulb hanging in it. That was. That was reasonable, a uh, good idea, yes. 1965 Ford. I see these things uh, on the internet from 1500 to 35, something like that. Well, this is $700. Baby boomers, how many of y'all had a, a Maverick, okay? We've all had Mavericks, some of us. Now look here. This has got disc brakes on it. That will fit on a fair lane. That's probably an eight inch Ford rear end. And by the way, look what I just found, a 67 or 66 fair lane like mine. Might find some parts. 1992 was the last time this one was tagged. Sure need some bucket seats. Sure wish I could find some. Oh, battery's gonna be down. Look at there. Somebody left the headlights on. Doggone it. Door, those door handles are still good. 62 or 63 Falcon, two door post. It's got a six cylinder in it. That is a doggone good hood. Good hood. And a, dang, that's a perfect fender. And door. It's got the radio in it too. It was a standard shift car. Nice truck on that one. 55 Pontiac. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But have you noticed this looks like a 55 Chevrolet? This, the doors, the little V thing right here, that's where 55 Chevrolet uh, was similar to this. Now this chrome on a 55 Chevrolet, this was not here. It did have that piece of chrome down the middle, I think. Dagmar's. Eyebrows, look, little chrome eyebrows. Hey, Steve, would that back door fit on a 55 Chevrolet? Yes, it would. What about this back window? Will that fit on a 55 Chevrolet? It looks like it. Yes, it would. What about the back window? Yes, it would. What about the rear quarter panel or the rear fender? No, it won't. If, if, if you could put it on there, it'd look kind of weird on a 55 Chevrolet if you put this on there. 
Now the trunk lid may work on a uh, 55 Chevy. Don't know, 56 Chevy, whatever. But the bumper's different. And this little piece of chrome right here. Oh, this was, you was, you was top dog if you had all that chrome on the car back in them days. 67 or 68 Ford Mustang that has seen Bondo before and body panels. That's homemade, that's Arkansas stuff, sure. I'm not bragging, but that's Arkansas stuff. 67, 68s. My brother had one, by the way, that I stole one night. I would uh, wait till he come in from uh, going out on his dates. He would come in, go to bed, and he slept in the same bed with me when we was kids until he got married and moved out. But I would get in his keys, uh, get his keys out of his pants pocket, sneak out the door, go next door to my buddy Ricky Collins' house. And we would push that Mustang out of the driveway, down the gravel road, we'd start it and we'd go riding around. I'd let it coax back up in the yard when we came home. My brother never knew it. He said, I never knew y'all stole that car. Okay, all I gotta say about this is that's a Ford. Not a lot of parts on it. Not a lot to see. 64 Ford. Uh, Studebaker. That is a Studebaker. I don't even know what year they are. A Studebaker Hawk, I think. That looks like a Studebaker Hawk. And, and what was this? They used, they put this on this Use this little piece of trim right here to cover up the cracks where they had them. So I don't know. Maybe they changed the year and just made this one pa one panel, and you just they just bolted it on to the old last year's panel. I don't know, but that's the way they did back then. They did this stuff like that. Now I got a Pontiac Bonneville. I'm gonna say '61. If I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys will know if you're Pontiac fans. You could buy these cars for $40 a piece running. I ain't kidding you. We bought them for $40 a piece uh, and just took off down the road in them and drove them and, and just raw hided them to the, till they wouldn't go anymore. And oh, they were such good riding cars. That seat right there, this is a four door hard top. Okay, that seat right there will fit in like a uh, Impala Chevrolet or something like that. They were so comfortable. I remember those seats so well. But basically it's the same width inside as like an Impala, 66 Impala. My brother needs a seat or needed one, he found one. But I was looking and I hadn't found none. And, I, and then I come up on this junkyard and there they, there they are, you know. Anyway, that, that's a good looking dash, isn't it? It's not a bad looking old body. If you like those old cars. Okay. 64, 65, 66. Chevrolet. I don't know. I can't tell the difference in them. We had one when I was a kid. 60, 64, and uh, when they first come out, my stepdad bought a brand new 64, okay. It's got a six cylinder. Okay, folks, that looks like a Pontiac engine. I don't know how you tell exactly. I'm looking at the valve cover. That just don't look like this, this era valve cover. But anyway, Whatever it is, it is. We're not gonna be buying that and bringing it home anyway. Some of you guys might want it. This is what happens when 
you ever heard of wallering out the wheel lug nuts? That's what they used to look like. And you left them loose. And just before the wheel come off, it looked like that. Well, all right, enough for that. Now this is a 66 Chevrolet Impala. That one had, no, I started to say it had a console in it, but it didn't. It's got the automatic on the column. But just an old 66 Impala. 1958 Buick. I know a 1958 from all the, the grill thing. See, look at the grill. See all those little teeth? I don't think this was a real good selling car. I think I watched a video on this and the 58s were kind of like too gaudy. They had like, well, I'm gonna say a thousand pounds of chrome on them. Um, it was real heavy and just overdone with chrome and turned people off. But it was kind of cool for, for what it is. Like, uh, like that and like the way the windshield is made you know like that looks like a back glass out of something doesn't it mm. still got a good door on it and it had the padded dash and these things had a stern wheel like a big truck let me tell you this used to be all chrome. You couldn't see any paint at all. All those holes, this whole piece back here was just gaudy, gaudy chrome. Just like all this chrome here. And here, look, look at that. And then look at there, that's a special. That's a Buick special. I bet the doggone taillights on that thing weigh, weigh 10 pounds. Just the chrome around them. Wow, that's that's a eight to ten mile gallon hot rod right there. Okay, enough about the Buick. Fifty seven Chevrolet, four door station wagon. Still got a good hood, and let's see the fenders. Fenders, fenders. Are, I've seen worse. Look here how they put this put this together. This was a piece. I don't know, maybe come across there and, and here and down. I don't know. There's where you put the gas on a 57. Remember? Boss Mess Special. See the USA in a Chevrolet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And see the bulbs? That's what they had to light up the dash back a long time ago, bulbs. Did we film this car already? No, this is a different one. Okay, here we got a 1950 Studebaker. Now that's the way those hoods look. Had this big old spacecraft looking nose sticking out here. And those, look at those fenders. See how they slope down? And, and not, is not, is that not cool? Looks like, <laughs> oh, hey, what's your name there, boy? Are you looking at me like you ain't never seen a car like this before? Well, let me say something, Mr. Studebaker. You did know how to design a car. Anyway, I'm sure back in 1950, you rode up in one of these, the girls are just all over you. Yeah, until they found out that was your daddy's car. 
Now, look here, four lug wheels on front and on the back on a Studebaker. I would have never guessed it. Now, look at that dash. Does that say 50s? All over it. And they even had an inspection hole so you could work on the transmission or whatever. Okay, this one's a little different now, see? <clears throat> Remember the other one we looked at, it had a window here. Had a little, I don't even know if it had a window there. 64 Ford. Now you think, Steve, what'd you do? Study on these cars? No, they rode them on the windshield. So that was a long wheelbase though. Sixty-four Chevrolet Impala. Nope, sixty-three. It's a sixty-three Impala. Hey, somebody had a four-speed in it or something at one time. And that is a comment. I know you guys are not gonna believe this, but guys, I actually had one of those too. Uh, mine was a six cylinder. Mine, I had that right before I went to basic training in 1973. And I was still dating girls before I got married. And it was basically the same car, except it was blue. Okay. Got a Dodge, a four-door Dodge. This is back when everybody was trying to beat the other car companies with, with ideas about style. Tried to make them look like spaceships, some Flash Gordon kind of thing. Because the crazier they was, the more people liked them. And that was the original color on this car. I've seen them that color before. Maybe it was a two-tone, I don't know. Door handles were like this. Looks like a Comet, but it's not. That is called a Mercury, I think it's a, looks like a Meteor, Meteor, a me, Meteor, okay. A Meteor, Meteor, let's see. A meteor. It's called a meteor. Five lug, two door post car. You know what? This is kind of like that 64 Fairlane I've got home and I need a seat for. Let's see what motor's got in it. Six cylinder. That's a 62. Eh, the seat's tore too bad. Somebody smoked cigarettes, look at there. Barracuda, 1965. I don't know how many years they made that back glass. But look at that. That's probably a thousand dollar glass. If you didn't need that, nothing but the glass. But you can buy the whole car for 700. And have parts off of it. That's got the, the rear end on them only a mother would love. Yeah, I think it had tail lights that stuck out like this far. Oh, look at this. Is this not stylish? Hey, let's put a piece of chrome up there. Yeah, we'll do that. We can do that. And let's put a big piece of chrome up here. Yeah, we can do that. Look here, this, this is nice. That's really in nice condition for for an old car like this, 1960 Chrysler Imperial. 
Look at that dash. You wanna have a picnic? Now, I'm not saying that's ugly. I'm just saying, good Lord, what were they thinking? All right, you gotta get a look at this. Okay, here, we're gonna look here. Look at that great old big speedometer. Huge, I mean huge. And that stern wheel, it's not round. It's like somebody had a car wreck and bent it with her, with her belly. But nope, that's the way it's made. If you worked on a farm back in the 60s, this is what the boss man's wife drove. You couldn't afford one, but she could. These cars were probably three, $4,000 back then. I'm sure. All right. 1955 Chevrolet. Somebody's put floors in it. There is a Chrysler, which that, that looks like a DeSoto, don't it? But it's not. Look at all these headlight rings. I've needed a few of those a few times. Oh, look at this. You pushed on that. How'd that work? Okay. If you pushed on that, you'd done like that to grab the handle. Okay. All right, that seemed like that was a problem. That was a chore. All right, let's move on to something else. Don't know what year this is. I'm thinking it's 54, 55 Oldsmobile. Dig that window, dig that. That is cool. And that little ridge going up the roof line, that's cool. I like this. Man, if you had that in some other car, you know, you could scab that on and Frankenstein it in, you know what I mean? Oh, this right here, see this? When you got out of the car, they didn't like that for some reason. People didn't like that. And they changed that because I guess they thought your knees would just go under that and all that. Maybe so, but you hit your shoulder when you was getting out of the car on that. So they changed it. Huh. This is a Corvair pickup. The engine is back here. That's where you check the oil at. You raise that panel up. There, there's the engine. I don't think it'll start, but a little six cylinder engine. So I'm gonna say this is like a 61, not 62 is what it says on the windshield. It does have the Corvair dash panel. That's Corvair there, that dash panel. And over there is the gear shift. That little lever uh, right there, that is the gear shift. Corvair 95. A little uh, Plymouth Signet. I'm not sure. Two door post car. I think these 65. It come out with a six cylinder. I'm sure. Some of them did have little. I think they had 273s in them. 
it's like a barracuda kind of and the interior was was barracuda looking can't get in it but that was really basically a barracuda that didn't have that sloped back window and stuff okay don't know what year that is but there's another one we saw at Joey Rohn's This is called a shoebox. They call those a shoebox Ford. I don't, didn't look like a shoebox really, but they did call them a shoebox. There's the two piece windshields. Okay, that's a Chevrolet hood. That's why it looked like a Chevrolet. I thought that oh, looks like a Chevrolet. Chevrolet had stamped this side and this side and put them together and then put a piece of chrome down through here. Uh, don't know why they did that, but they did that. 57 Chevrolet, four-door four door post. It was probably pink and black. Sixty-two Chevrolet Bel Air. You know, I found out you can't put a back window in one of those just like that. If the back window gets busted out, if you put a new one in out of some other car, you know, you, you can't tape it in like we did with with a uh, black electrical tape. We found that out as teenagers because as soon as your girlfriend rolls the window down, guess what? That back window is going to come right out on the ground. And it's going to be in a million pieces all over the highway. We found that out. We, we tried to glue it and everything, but. All right, this is a Dodge or two door hard top. Look at that top. Look how low that top is. That top is lower than a, any other two door hard top car. Big old fat body at the, bo at the bottom, and then that little bitty short top. There's a 62 Chevrolet Impala. It might be an SS. I don't know. Ooh, look at the dash. I love the dashes on these. That's still got a... That one's still got a decent dash on it. See that uh, bright work right there? And over there around the radio and the gauges? That was, a, that was a handsome dash back then. That was a Coronet over there, by the way. A Dodge Coronet. push buttons this park reverse neutral drive all that but that's the way they were he pushed a button instead of pulling a gear shift lever down 56 chevrolet seen one you've seen them all you know what they look like guys i'm just gonna pass on by this one there's where the motor supports were see those motor supports right there Just donut after donut after donut. Okay, 54 Ford Crestline. Had the overdrive transmission, so I'd say it was a standard shift. Mm, V8, all right. Now there's another dash. That, that bright work right there on that dash is hard to find. I think it's a 65 Chevrolet. My friend's daddy had one of these and he gave us a ride back to uh, 
basic training in it one time and we showed up late. He drove slow and we were just like, come on, speed it up, speed it up. But he never did. He, he drove a speed limit and we got there late and we got in trouble. Biscayne, Biscayne was the cheapest Chevrolet you could buy. Uh, you, a Chevrolet, Biscayne, and then a, a Bel Air, and then an Impala. There's another 56 Chevrolet station wagon. I'm just going to take a quick walk around some of these now because we've been out here for quite a while. A big old Buick. Don't know much about them. I just know that they was heavy. And that's another 53. 455 Buick, uh, Oldsmobile, sorry. Fifty-seven Chevrolet. See that in the spring there? I use those many a days. We would put those in between the springs and raise the car up, make it look like a gasser. Hey, there's one. 55 Chevrolet station wagon. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, $700, you can't find something like that. Even to, to rework that tailgate or that back window on one would cost you $700. And this piece right here, below the, below the uh, tailgate, that one's in good shape. It's not rusted out or nothing. A window right here would be Hard to find. Henry Ford had a grandson. His name was Edsel. And they said, let's build a car and name it after Edsel. They did. And it was a flop. It was like the Corvair for the Chevrolets. It was a flop. That right there, people didn't like. The, they, I think they changed that later, but it's too late. It was time to go. This Edsel was like, if this was a 59, just say, all this stuff here was 59 Ford. The dash was a 59 Ford, except for the for the, uh, the speedometer and the gauges and stuff, they changed those up. But the rest of that dash is all 59 Ford. And I'm sure the doors 59 Fords, they just put chrome on them in different spots. And there's an Edsel door. Edsel. Okay, old 50s Chevrolet, 60s Thunderbird. All right, somebody was telling me the other day, I, I, I said something about a Thunderbird I saw, like a 63, 64. He said, you tell me where those $2,000 Thunderbirds are. I said, well, you can find them, but this is one for $700. Look at this. They said, hey, we'll just save money, put the door handle, and just put that right there, that piece of chrome on there, and that's where you open the door at. 65 or 66 Falcon station wagon. Uh, what can I say about them? Not a lot. It's not a very desirable car unless you have one and you're looking for parts. And look, see the back? quarter and all that stuff is good if yours was all wrecked in there you'd come over here and buy that car for seven hundred dollars take it back and fix yours it's another chevrolet that's 52 54 something like that uh plymouth state police car looking thing i've been chased many a, many a day by state police cars back when i was 15 16 17 year old and they look like this. Arkansas had a blue ones. And I even bought one for my stepdad. It was a police car, state trooper car. But just a big old boat is what they were. It took them, it took them a long time to get up to 100 mile an hour. But once they got to 100 mile an hour, they just keep going. Okay, here's an old Chevy. This is headlights out of a Cougar. The pop-up headlights, that's what these are. Fifty 
64 Oldsmobile. There's a Nova race car. All right. Old big old ugly Buick. 46, 47 Chevrolet car. That's the uh, post-war, I think is what they said it was. 1959 Ford Fairlane. Had the great old big eyeballs on the back, our taillights. Now there's a 58 Ford. This is a 59. It was a nice looking car, but I don't think it really sold a lot of cars. I don't think a 58 was very popular. I know a 59 was worse because nobody wanted a 59. 59s were, they were good cars, but they were just, this wasn't stylish enough. And 57 Fords and 58 Fords like this, I don't know, they just never mean, they never did do good. And this is a Corvair. This is the one that Ralph Nader banned. It's one of them that he banned. But he said, not good at any speed because the rear ends, when you go around a curve, uh, it had, I think it had an independent suspension on the back and the motor was in the back. And that's a 66 Buick Skylark. Now, those were nice cars. They had style, in my opinion, looked like a Chevelle. And uh, they had style. They were just a Buick though. I mean, people, people would rather have a Chevrolet than a Buick back a long time ago. Now there were Buick people that wouldn't have nothing but a Buick. But that's basically a Chevrolet Malibu or, or Chevrolet Chevelle. Okay, this is a, just a Chevy Nova, 73. That's before they come out with those shock bumpers on them, I think. 73 was the last year for this older style bumpers. That has been picked over pretty good. 1957 Chevrolet station wagon. Didn't we just see one of those? Yeah, I guess we did. I just don't know where it, where it is. 57 Chevy station wagon. Still got a good back seat in it. Got a lot of good parts on it. Look, an ankle brakelet. Studebaker. Look at that lizard on the fender. See if I can get there. He is. See him. He's gone. But that's what a Studebaker engine looked like back in the day. Flathead six cylinder. You notice, folks, there's no valve cover on that. That's why they call called them flatheads. Got a custom mirror. Well, that was one ugly car. I mean, you know, what happened to the suicide doors, guys? Why did they, uh, why'd they do away with that? What was the reason? Okay. Maybe it was cause you was trying to get in and, you, oh, you was tr you're trying to get through this little hole right here. Junior, shut the fr shut the door so I can get in, son. I'm sorry, Mama. I was getting the groceries out of the back. Well, well, don't open that door again while I'm trying to get in and out. But if you ever never seen a car with suicide doors, now you have. Sixty-four Chevrolet Impala, sixty-three. I'm sorry. 
and like a 62, 63 Ford pickup. International pickup. It's an International 100. I'll just give you little tidbits that I know, that I know and found out. Steve, why do they have that sunk in spot there in that fender? Because right here in these holes, there was a bracket bolted that held the spare tire. And the spare tire would actually come right down here like this. So you could get to your gas cap and put gas in it and it wouldn't be in the way. And it would be stowed out of the way and you wouldn't have it as, a, it wouldn't be a problem. 66 Ford LTD. Some of these had the big old motors in them. Now, the fenders were kind of rounded. 65 had a flat fender there. I mean, it's flat. You could set a soda bottle up on it without it teetering. But Ty's got a 390 in it, or it had a 390. That was one of the old big motors. And look at those seats. It's a LTD. This right here was a 67 Chevrolet Caprice. Uh, some of these had a 400 engine in them. Some of them had a big block. I don't know what this one had in it. Let's see if we can see up here. No, nope. there's nothing to tell you what size engine it had in it. Maybe it was a 68. It could have been a 67 or a 68. 62 Chevrolet Impala. was an Impala and I see this little ring right here I thought that was a SS emblem on one car because it was missing but no they wouldn't make an SS four-door so there you had a Impala two-door a four-door Chevrolet Malibu 67 66 67 I think that's what that is Sixty-seven Studebaker Hawk. That number means something to somebody. I don't know what or what it says, what it means. This was a standard shift car. I don't know if it's a V8. But it was a Hawk. That's an old Buick. That's a three-hole Buick. Now they. Had three hole, four hole. Three hole had a little chrome, look like exhaust thing sticking out. And the antenna, look here. Antenna was up here. There you can see the dash still pretty much intact on this car. Defrost, cigarette lighter, air vent, Air vent, lights, heater. I'm just looking for that knob down on the floor. You pushed. The... All right. Some of these Buicks, like the 57, I know you. You turn the key on, and you mash the accelerator pedal to the floor, and it engaged the starter and started it. That's the way Miles 57 was. I'm sure this one might have had the same thing. But Buick Eight. Let's smoke a cigarette and we'll go back and look some more. Okay, here's some pieces he's got for sale. I'm sure they're not gonna be $700, but um, don't know what none of this stuff is. Uh, that right there is a Chevelle, like a 74. Uh, square body stuff's not for sale. The Ford pickup stuff is. Okay, we'll take a look at the, these now. There's a Cadillac. There's some goats I'm afraid of. Cadillac Eldorado. Convertible. A 
if I don't film this, somebody will say, man, you should have filmed that. I was interested in it. So I'll let you look at it. There's some good speakers. It looks like they come out, the sound came out this way. I don't know, I don't understand that. You'd think it would come out the other way. El Dorado. 62, 63 Chevrolet. There's a, another Studebaker front end and a Studebaker pickup. First Studebaker pickup we've seen today. What is this, guys? Shock? Is that a shock? I don't see a shock. That's got to be a shock. Huh. That must not have took off too good. Or they would have been doing it on every vehicle. That's a pretty cool looking dash in that thing though. Somebody's made that. Somebody's put that in there. Yep. That's out of a Chrysler or something because look at the steering column. And they just scabbed that in there. Hmm. I bet this thing had a V8 in it. Somebody was... Well, there's an automatic transmission, which... I have never seen an automatic transmission built like that. Look how big that torque converter is compared to the bolts on the bell housing. Hmm. You can see where somebody scabbed those gauges in there. And that Pontiac, 52, 53, 64 Ford. Now these were nice cars. They had the XL model, which I don't know if that's what this is, but they had these little ridges in the, right here, this ridge right here. And they had bucket seats and console and all that. Let's see if this, somebody's put a steering column in it that did not go in this car. And if you can see back there, they had those real nice custom back seat. Oh, there it is right there. There's the back seat out of it. But it was cut down the middle and I'm sure it had bucket seats in it. But these also come out with a 427, I think Ford motor. I don't know what motor that is, but the, that could be one. See that fuel pump? No. Three fifty-two. So much for that. But this is a '65 Malibu. '64 and a '65 had similar body styles. And that, that's the bucket seat out of one of them. Two door hard top, 65 Malibu. All right, 61. Never did like the tops on these. That top is just ugly. They messed up a good looking car by putting that top on there. Fifty-five Chevrolet four door. Sport Custom Ford. Is that like a seventy-one? Long bed. Yeah, we're not gonna open it up. That seat does not go to this truck. That door goes to like, what is that? I don't know. International maybe? I don't know. And that motor did not go to this truck. Buick, ain't much to see here. Just no Buick. 
59 Ford station wagon. The hood raised up from the, from by the windshield, by the way, on these cars. And uh, I'm going to warn you before I raise this hood, these hoods squeaked. They had a sound that no other car has. Ugh. This one didn't because it's hard to raise. But the old Ford engine, these things made an awful noise when, it, when you'd raise the hood. 59 Ford. 65 Ford. I don't know what size motor that is. I can't tell. But I do know the head here, right here is a head gasket. I mean the intake gasket. The intake come all the way over into the, to the, to the head on these Fords. So that thing weighs probably 150 pounds, that intake. Hard to work on, hard to work on. 57 Chevrolet four-door, it's pretty much gone. That was a nice car one day, like a 71 or 72 Nova. Not bad looking cars when they were running. They had one called a Rally Nova. Had a Rally Stripe on it. My friend had one of those. And I used to ride around with him, but he liked to play this Rush this tape called a band named Rush, and that's all he ever played. He had a cassette. I just got sick of this, that the music. Dig those colors, man. This was probably a beautiful turquoise color. Um, I've seen these cars when they were new, and that 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 is an XL. These were beautiful cars at one time. Okay, Dodge. It's a V8. I'm gonna say 50, 55, 56. There's the gear shift, by the way. Wasn't that cool? They raced these in NASCAR, guys. NASCAR, they had them in NASCAR and they said that over 100 mile an hour that the back end would come off the ground because of the way they was made and it'd make it light in the back end. I don't know that to be true. That's just what I heard. But you'll see them if you look back at some of those old videos. Huh, that's a spoiler. 327 engine in this car. 68, 68 Chevrolet. Came out with a 327. Automatic on the column. Maybe 67 Chevrolet, I don't know. 67 and 68 looked a lot alike. Dodge pickup. It's a redneck rebel version. Under this hood, if you raise these hoods up, there was a flat fender that reached all the way into here that you could put your tools on. So that give you give you an idea. You're gonna be working on this truck. That looks like that could be the motor out of it. I'm not sure. 63 Ford Galaxy, maybe. Nothing much to see. 66 Chevrolet Caprice. This is 67 and a 66. Changed them very little. You don't know what size motor it had in it. It could have come out with a 396. This is an old Oldsmobile, I think. Cool dash, wasn't it? 
Pontiac Catalina. You could buy those cars cheap back in the 70s. It's another big old Oldsmobile, two-door hardtop. 62 Oldsmobile, dynamic. 58 Ford, two-door hardtop. Old Chevy and old Plymouth. 57 four-door. 58 four-door. 47, 48 Chevrolet. You can tell when I start getting tired, start walking faster and filming faster. <laughs> I'm gonna have to slow down when I get to the other side, but you kind of seen these in the background. It's a 62 Nova. These did not have a frame. They were uh, bolted together right there, the front end on each side. Then the bolts came out and the whole front end would come off. Now there's your 64 Ford Galaxy. Like the one we looked at down there. It's pretty much got the dash and all that stuff in it. Cannon. Cannon, that was his name. The old uh, the old big guy that used to drive that car on, on that TV show. Cannon was the name of the show. 66 Bel Air, not much to see. 69 Ford Ranchero. My brother's got the 68. 68 and 69 was kind of similar. Now there's a Grand Prix. 64 Grand Prix. It reminds you of a 64 Chevrolet Impala. There's a little Nova. And a Pontiac with them chrome pieces rusted on the hood again. And 62 Chevy four-door Bel Air. Look at the goats. I'd like to have a goat. By the way, goats will eat the vinyl tops off of cars and they'll eat the interior out of cars, the headliner and all that stuff. So if you have a goat, you might want to think about that. Okay, we're going to take a break, charge our battery up, and rest our legs a little bit. And then we'll come back and film the rest of it. Okay, we got a 67 390 automatic country sedan pretty rough but that's what it is and there's an old Dodge don't know what years those things come out I'm gonna say it's a 60 61 it's got a standard shift in it probably a six-cylinder 65 Malibu, four door. That's a 66 Chevy Impala. 64 Chevrolet Bel Air, probably. <clears throat> now there's a Studebaker. You don't see any of those anymore. Those, got a friend that's got one of these, it's a two door. He might be interested in this one. It's a 1960. There's a 63 Ford Galaxy 500. It was a 289 car, it says it on the windshield. Still got a lot of parts left on it. Sixty-four 
four door. 1958 Chevrolet, four door. <clears throat> I don't think I've got the dash of the 58s in none of my videos. So. There's what the dash looked like in these. It's probably a 58 six cylinder, three speed in the floor, or three speed on the column. Still got the clutch arms on it. And it was a V8. I can tell by the motorsports. There's a Thunderbird. Got a couple extra grill. And there's a grill on the back of it, too. Hood pins. I seen another car. Another Thunderbird with hood pins right there. I wonder if those were factory. And the ugly old 59 Ford station wagon. I can't open the door. But it does have a console in it. Bucket seats are gone. Fifty-nine done lost all his teeth. Oh God, la! Good Lord, fifty-five Pontiac. These cars got hot back in the day. Everybody I knew that owned anything like this overheated. Had overheating problems. That one's got a standard transmission in it. There's a Buick. Notice the 55 Chevrolet from there back. That's what it looks like, don't it? Is it a 55 or a 56 Ford, guys? Can you tell by looking without looking at the dash and the front grill? There's a 55. Okay, 55 had this dash like this. 56 was kind of more like an airplane. Daddy drove one of these. Mama, whoa, look at there. See that snake over there? Well, there he is, there's a snake. And my girlfriend's daddy had one of these. Fifty-eight Chevrolet. Sixty-two two-door post Chevrolet. And a studio backer. There was that nose on that Studebaker right there. This is a 61 Chevrolet. 59 Dodge. There's an old V8. 54 Ford. Probably a 292 motor. Here's 54 and a 55. I had this little glass thing here for the speedometer that was cool sixty two Ford Fair Lane now there's a sixty two Impala <clears throat> Automatic car. Look at those balls on the dash. Those chrome balls. <laughs> Somebody, that was her own special touch to this car. Back in the day. I bet all these kin folks said, oh, I like that car. I like those balls on the dash. Big Star Chief Pontiac.
man, if these cars could talk, I'd just sit out here and listen to each one of them every day. I'd come back and just sit here and listen to them tell their stories. An Oldsmobile, like the 66, 67, something like that. I don't know, somewhere along those years. That was a mom and, mom and dad car, just like that was too back in 53, 54. 58 Chevrolet station wagon. I think they called those a Brookwood, something like that. Sixty-three Nova wagon. Some good dash parts, like the, the gauge cluster and glove box door, stuff like that. Sixty-seven Fairlane, like mine. Let's see if there's anything in there I need. Oh, yes, I need this whole gauge cluster. The radio, the gauge cluster, this piece right there, that headlight switch. I can use that in my car. What is this? A Frasier? A Frasier? Nash? I don't know. I don't know who made a Frasier. Wow. Frasier. Something I have never seen. I don't even remember those in the junkyards. Little 6061 Falcon. 54 Ford. 53, 54. 61 Chevrolet Bel Air. A little AMC Hornet. I never had a station wagon, but I had the car. They were cheap, decent little cars. 66 Impala. I don't care. Fluid drive, well. Good for you, whatever it is. Fifty six Chevrolet four door. That's where you put the gas, by the way. In a fifty six Chevrolet, the tail light dropped down. You just turned the little thing and it dropped down. You put the gas in it and latched it back. How cool is that? 62, 63 Nova, come out with a six cylinder in it. There's a big black dog. 57 Pontiac. Mama had a car one time, 57 car. And it had a speaker, that's the same dash that mom's had, but it had a speaker in between the dash and that floor tunnel there. And uh, I would ride in the middle and my feet would rub up against that. And mama would say, you got your muddy shoes on my speaker. I remember her doing that, telling me that. That's a VA car, that's a two door hard top. Now that was probably a beautiful car back in this day. Huh, had a pink top. I don't know what about the 
crest line. That's what it was. Oh, look at here at that color. That's the color of the 60s. And that's a 65. Let's see, I think it is 65. But all these things, I, I rode in these things brand new. I remember them brand new. Let's see. 65 had a, was flat here, so this is a 65. There's a little Comet, 61, 62. 59 Buick, folks. Talk about a heavy, heavy car. This didn't have lug studs, it had lug bolts. You see, there's no stud sticking out there. There's one bolt holding that, holding that wheel on. But that's the motors, they call them the nail head motors. Hey, this was a fancy car in the day. Power steering, air conditioning, four barrel carburetor, And the fins, 59 Chevrolet, remember, had the fins. Uh, 59 Buick did too. Dang. And there is the back window. Remember that one, I, 61, I told you I didn't like that roof. I didn't like the roof line on them. Little comet. What was that? Chevrolet. I don't know what that come off of? A cataract, a cataract, and a pink '59 Ford. What do you think about that? Was it a Mary Kay cosmetic car? I don't know. And that's a 58 Ford. Oh, look at the wood grain, imitation wood grain on the side of it. 67 Chevrolet, probably Impala. And that was a Chrysler, by the way. We looked at it a while ago from the back. I said, I didn't know what it was. I see it says Chrysler now. There's another 50s Dodge, 57, 58, something like that. I want you to look at the difference in a 65 and a 66. This is a 66 back end. That is a 65. You notice there's no tail light holes in the 66 in the trunk. There, there are in the uh, trunk of the 65. Now, if you had a, that's an Impala because it had three tail lights. Um, a Bel Air had two tail lights. The Biscayne, I think, had two tail lights. But uh, it was a little fancier, a little cheaper car. 60, the 65, 66 Biscayne was the cheapest thing you could buy. So they even left the tail light out. Just so they could save money. 1959 Ford Ranchero. You don't see many of those on the road. That back glass, you know, I mean, I've not seen a 59 with a back glass in it. So there's your back glass. If you got a 59 Ranchero, you might want to buy that dash. I mean, that, that back glass. If you need it. 58 Ford, poor thing looks like it's crying. Oh, oh my, oh, my socks are hurting. My socks are hurting and, oh, my wheel burns are wore out. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 62 Fairlane. They were good little old cars. I liked them. And uh, there's a Buick Skylark. They weren't bad looking cars either. 
and a little Vega. Had an aluminum four-cylinder overhead cam, and they were pieces of junk, unless you stuck a V8 motor in them, and then you had a toy. Vega GTs, man, they were nice. They bucket seats and all that stuff, but they looked just like this, except they were a GT, and the tail lights looked like a little Camaro is what I thought they, they always looked like. Another 62, Fairlane. I'm showing you guys these cars probably some of you have not ever seen a 62 Fairlane. But this was something your daddy or grandpa rode around in. You know, those, those were cheap cars, but they were good cars. And they just kept on going. 65 Fairlane 500 four-door. That was a grandpa car. Just about a lot of all these are grandpa cars. All right. Tell me what year that is. I done told you several times what I've seen. And when I mentioned the name and the year and that's right, 58, 58 Chevrolet. Good, you learned something. I'm trying to teach you guys that don't know anything about some of these old cars so you can tell your kids you saw one on a video one day. <laughs> that's about a 50, 556 Dodge grandpa car. 62 grandpa car, Chevrolet. All right, now, remember the taillights had the three holes in them, had two holes in the trunk. That was a 65, and this is, that's right, 66. Good job, Billy. You done good. Just paying attention. 68 Oldsmobile, I can't remember what they called those. I had a had one one time made a demolition derby car out of it. I can't remember what that Skyline or whatever. And that's, a, that's a Cadillac I'm going to say like Elvis had. The one that was painted pink he gave to his mama. So Elvis thought these were real cool and Elvis bought one of these for his mama so Elvis actually looked over a dash like that at one time held on to that big old steering wheel over there and his mama Gladys she drove it we just say Elvis's fingers pushed the door button just like this back when he was young. He probably thought this is the coolest thing. And I heard that Hank Williams Sr. There's the door off of it. Hank Williams Sr. went and bought a Cadillac. This was on the movie. I don't know that to be true. But he bought a Cadillac and he was sitting on the side of the road and one of his people come by and he said, take me to the Cadillac dealership. I need to get another new car. He said, yeah, but it's out of gas. I want to go get a new one. So <laughs> they took him to town. He bought another one. And he, all he done was run that one out of gas. Go take those country stars. Now there's a 56 that looks still looks decent. These little station wagon things here are still hard to find. So... No, no, that's, that is beyond repair. Try to open one door and the back door tries to open at the same time. There's a four hole Buick. Okay, finally we saw one. What do you mean four hole? Okay, four hole. They had little exhaust looking things. It was chrome. It didn't do anything, but they just showed Looked like they was exhaust, and they, they didn't do anything. But a lot of people wanted the four hole over the three hole because it was fancier. All 
Hey, the door still shuts good on it. This is a Edsel. The ones that look like the 59 Fords I told you about. It's an Edsel Ranger two-door post car. Remember, it had that pretty grill. Now this, bring, this brings back bad memories, folks. When we had a car like this, my daddy was so poor. I think he gave $50 for this car that was like this. 51 Plymouth, 52, and his was a four door. And we rode to town in this car. It got us back and forward, but daddy had, see that's got a mud grip tire on front of it. Okay, that's what people did back then. They put whatever tire they could find. That's a Suburban, that's what it's called. Right there is what it says, Suburban. But you put whatever tire you could find on a car, it don't matter if it was wore out. You put it on there and you made it a few more weeks or a month or whatever, you made it to town one more time. And things got so bad back in the day when I don't know how old I was, maybe it was 1960 or 59, when uh, maybe it's 62, but we had a tractor tire on the front of the car that had those three little ribs, and we actually drove it to town like that. Never thought nothing about it. I didn't know I was poor, but I was. Daddy did the best he could. I wish I, I wish I, now knowing now, I wish I could have bought him a brand new car. This old Buick, look at the hood. Rust just takes over. Electra 225. All these cars I'm showing you is cars that people were tickled to death to have back in the day. This could have been a boss's car, a boss man, you know, like some rich farmer bought his wife a new Buick Electra 225. We'll never know that. This car can't talk. 1958 Buick. Now look at the brakes on this. It's got aluminum drums and that dissipates heat. I heard about those drums, but I never saw one in person. 58 Buick loaded down with chrome. You can see some of the chrome, okay? Look at this. This is that chrome it was missing on the other 58. And it had the gaudy tail lights on it and all this stuff was just, was just it's so heavy. There's another 58 Buick. See the chrome back at the back. So you ever see one with a lot of chrome on it at a car show or something? Um, you'll know a 58 Buick now by all that chrome. There's a little Oldsmobile, which that was, that was somebody's car that had a little money. You weren't, you weren't poor if you owned one of those when it was new. That's a 68, an old Studebaker pickup. There's another one. There's somebody made made that one into their own. They chopped the back of that off. Huh. 
See how many miles it's got on it. Thought that was a wasp. And that was probably one of the prettiest Thunderbirds they had back in the day because of the design. If you'll notice the trunk. How cool is that? Those tail lights and all. They were really a fancy car. That one had a console in it, bucket seats. 65 Pontiac. Some of you were probably conceived in the back seat of that car like that. 59 Ford car, R Edsel. Remember the Edsels we looked at? The top of the Edsels was from here to there was a 59 Ford, actually. There were some differences, I'm sure, but basically it was a 59 Ford. There's a custom cab 50, I don't know, 57, 58. Well, I hope you liked this video. We filmed almost two hours worth or more, maybe three, three hours of old cars. You can buy any car out here for $700. Any car, any truck, and if you just want parts, you can buy parts. Whatever part you need, that you've seen out here today, um, you can buy that part. You might have to drive to Arkansas to get it. I don't know. But um, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to shut it off right here because battery's just about dead. My legs are killing me. My feet's killing me. <laughs> but they're getting better. I've been out here three hours or more, probably close to four. But this is in uh, Possum Grape, Arkansas, uh, right outside of Newport, Arkansas, exit 69 on Highway 67. Get off at exit 69 and there's Highway 137 is um, west, only a couple, two, three miles at the most, off of 67, and 67 is a four lane. If you go west, you'll come to Highway 137 and it's right outside of uh, uh, Possum Grape. If you head south, you'll see it on the right-hand side. And uh, give Ken a call if you see anything out here you want. If you want to buy the whole car, $700 as is, a whole car. Every part on it, you get. But uh, a lot of stuff ain't worth hauling out of here, but there's a lot of stuff it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to cut it off right here. So... Until next time, keep watching. Thank you to my subscribers, and we'll see y'all later. God bless you. Bye. <music>